Alright. I think this ROM is kind of fucked up, but eh. At least this isn't so bad. I don't know why. I, eh. Anyway. It takes me a while to register my GD freaking name, but eh. I don't even take it seriously, but this is a pretty bad game, and I can agree with pretty much every reviewer that this is just not a very good game. It wasn't a good move to detract this much from the original. Especially considering that there's such significant difference with regards to battle. I mean, I tried it. I almost had it too. Uh, fuck it. Just J. I'm done. <laughs> Alright, fucking J's. Let's. G. G. That's what it is. Yeah, look at the top of the screen. It's just flickering like hell. Well, it kind of. It starts doing it again. Well, now it's perfectly fine, though. Ah. Uh, oh, no. This is probably where I get my ass handed to me the most. These stupid spear wielding. I guess they're moblins or something. Oh fuck! 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 Die! 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 Fucking slimes! Every game is anti-slime. They're slimest. Slimes aren't bad guys. Just ask Dragon Warrior. Uh, the Dragon Warrior Monsters game. They can be friends. They're not bad guys. Eh. Uh. This isn't as bad as the ROM Lewis Prower had. If you uh, search on his channel, he had a uh, he yeah he he admits he's playing ROM. He was trying to make it seem like he was playing some sort of super special super game console, but it was just yeah, ROM. But yeah, the ROM was pretty effed up. Cause when we went into town, the uh, game characters had all these weird flickering bright things around them. Sorry I don't get very far in this game, but this is a game I have honestly never touched before. I've seen a lot of people t uh, play it. I mean, it was Prower, Angry Video Game Nerd, etc. But, you know, I just don't see how you can really literally appreciate this game considering that... Ugh, I know it takes a lot of exploration. I know that's part of some RPGs, but this becomes a little obs just on the brink of obscurity. If not complete, uh, the completely cryptic, as it were. But anyway, apparently need a hammer for that. And I know you need like a candle or a lamp or something, but I have I can't for the life of me find it. They said it was at Pata Pata Castle. I'll find it somewhere here. But yeah, fuck it. Leave. Leave. Why'd I even go in here? Anyway. We're running. Oh shit. Fucking slimes run. Alright. Why are they black, by the way? <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm answering my own questions. Just warn there's someone here you can, um. Eh. Uh, what was that from? It was there was another reviewer online, I believe, that makes a reference to the fact that um, I think it might be Stan Berman that you can um, or maybe no, it wasn't him. I think it was someone else. It was talking about Legend of Zelda: The Adventure Link, and that yeah, Link is like a pimp. Hmm. It, it, it'll come to me. I have, really have no idea. Someone. Just like me and has seen a lot of game reviewer videos or a pretty decent amount. Just, I don't know, maybe I'll find it myself either way. But that's what's coming to mind. Last commentary to do before I go to sleep. Hello, young fellow. Anyway. I think, no, I think it was Louis. It might have been it was Louis, I think. Louis Power. He uh, had another one. Get candle in Parapa Pada, Pada Castle. Parapa? Like Pada Pada? That's what I'm thinking, but I'm, I haven't even played Pada Pada. Stupid chicks would. What woman carries a 
big giant bull on her head. I know jars and shit, but not a fucking bull. Anyway. Jump, jump. I'm gonna make a Mega Man 8 reference. Return the crystal. That's what she says. And I think that's the whole fucking premise of this damn thing is to save Zelda or something. Of course, what a shocking surprise that is. It isn't a surprise. Now, I thought Pot Up a Castle might be here, but this looks more like a freaking Greek Parthenon or something. But then again, those, uh. I forget what those things are called at the top of the, uh. column pillars things. We learned it in high school, in art history class, no less. Or the last art history class I'll ever take. <laughs> ever. I'm glad I took fucking music in college instead of art or art history, not to knock the disciplines themselves, but I fail miserably. Shit, fucking slimes. These blue slimes are dangerous. Watch out, they jump at you. Red slimes just kinda, eh. Ugh. Die. Alright. You're supposed to hit it with your sword. There we go. Alright. Making some progress. Yeah, right. At one point, I just decided I'm gonna kill myself. Because I could not find for the life of me where anything was. Yeah. Go to the left. Run, Link, run. You're not Link. You're a disgrace to the links of the world. <laughs> eh, I'm getting chased by teddy bears. This is the last place with the town of Rauru. Rauru. R A U R U. And this is Ruto. R U T O. Rauru. R A U R U. Blech. That's how you spell it. This isn't it either. Hello, young fella. These, these old ladies are creepy. Yeah. Hammer. No, I'm not gonna hammer your old, decrepit cunt, you fucking bitch. Oh, wait. That was actually pretty much completely unscripted, although, to be honest, that was coming to mind when she said hammer when I was originally playing this, but as you know, I'm too much of a cheap bastard and a uh, lame bastard to... <laughs> I am error. I just was in shock. What the fuck is going on here? I am error. Is that your name, or is that literally programming glitch? We'll never know. I go with the latter. This guy looks, no literally, he looks retarded, or he has, like, some sort of birth defect or some shit. Go away, old lady. This town sucks. I'm going to the next place. <laughs> oh yeah, this is where I decide, fuck it, I'm just gonna let whatever the fuck these invisible enemies are, these bats. And I'm dead. Oh, fucking seizure. Seriously, look at that. Ugh. God. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this, and uh, see you later.